Hi, I'm Lindsay Lee, Marketing Coordinator for Southern California Rental Housing Association. Welcome to the SCRHA update for the week of April 26. Joining me today is Molly Kirkland, SCRHA Director of Public Affairs. Before we get to her important update, I want to let you know about two classes we have happening this week. The first one on April 26 is the NAA Click and Lease and NAA Click and Comply webinar. Join us for this free webinar to learn about this great, these great tools. Um, on April 29th, we have our solution series class on bed bug prevention and eradication. There's also 10 spots left for our golf classic on May 6th. Sign up today and join us on the green for our first in-person event of the year. Molly, um, thanks for joining us today. Can you let us know more about what's happening um, with the county ordinance? Absolutely. Thanks, Lindsay, for giving me an opportunity. As most people know, a couple weeks ago, the County Board of Supervisors gave initial approval to an ordinance that would mandate some pretty severe just cause termination rules uh, countywide, and it would also put a limitation on rent increases for a few months, um, cap that at CPI for certain properties. We are still pushing back against this ordinance. It's scheduled for a second reading on Tuesday, May 4th. We're waiting for the agenda for that item to come out so we can let our members know what time and how they can call in. We also think that the Board of Supervisors is going to potentially open the chambers for public comment in person, probably on a limited basis. So as soon as we know more on that front, we'll share that also. So we're really hoping members will mobilize. We didn't have a lot of time um, you know, an advanced notification <laughs> to mobilize members last time around. So we'd really like to see more folks call in, show up if possible, really make their voice heard. This ordinance goes way too far. It would mean just cause would be limited to severe threats to public health and safety. And um, that's a really kind of subjective definition. And we know from last year when uh, the courts had a similar rule in place, it made it almost impossible to terminate tenancy and to evict tenants who are creating nuisance behavior issues at properties and committing crime. We don't want to fall back into that kind of scenario. It also creates issues for property owners who might need to move into their own homes. Uh, many folks are facing their own financial issues and might need to move into their rental house, and this would mean that you wouldn't be able to do that. It also placed some pretty severe limitations on your ability to sell a property, even buy a property, since certain financing um, components might require an owner move in or, or that the owner occupy a unit. So there's lots of unintended consequences. We're very concerned about this. We're still conducting a legal review, but in the interim, we want to make sure folks are aware that the hearing again is on Tuesday. May 4th, we'll get you the time. Those meetings usually start at 9 a.m. They could do a time certain for the item, depending on how many public speakers there are. And sometimes we don't know that until that morning. So just, you know, keep an eye on our emails. There should be something coming out today directing you to sign up for our action alerts. That um, is a system that will email you with all the updates you'll need and how you can take action to call or write to your county supervisor. Again, this is a very important issue. This is kind of an all hands on deck scenario and we will be sending lots of information out on how you can mobilize, talking points, we're working with other organizations and again, always considering uh, legal action since this is gonna have some major unintended consequences and certainly is a violation of private property rights and might even uh, you know, result in a taking of private property. So if you have any questions, feel free to call the office at 858-278-8070. And you can ask for Molly Kirkland. I'll do my very best to take your call and answer any questions you might have. But in the interim, just sit tight and look for communications from the association. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you, Molly. And make sure that you are getting our emails. You can sign up at SoCalRHA.org. You can also follow us on social media at SoCalRHA for the latest updates. Have a great week.